then it, society doesn't provide a, a support to no. that. And if you want to do something good, it's interesting. If you want to do something good in society, you have a hard time. Yeah. I have play, patients that come and say, I, now I feel that I'm, I'm in my, my 50s and I did everything to be a good professional and I can't consider myself a successful person. I have my family okay, I have my, my economic life stabilized. Uh, and I feel okay, but there is something missing, and I know I need to do something else, to do something more transcendental. I need to do something good for, the, for humanity, so when I leave this world, I can bring something meaningful with me to eternity. And these are not religious people speaking. But then they start. <laughs> but what am I going to do? Yeah, exactly. What am I going to do? Uh, will I go to um, those houses where they take old people? Not ah, old folks' home and volunteer yeah. there. So should I do some volunteer work two, two hours a week? Or should I go to church? A and it becomes so difficult to find out. And what I find incredible is what Kepi brought, this concept that n we should not only do some good work, volunteer work, here or there, two hours a week right. or uh, some days of the week, but we should live a life, a, a full life, in goodness, beauty, and truth. Wow. And this is impossible to accomplish. Even for the best person, even for a saint, it's totally impossible to live totally in goodness, beauty, and truth. But Kepi created uh, a structure of s a social living even with a trilogical economic society the societies and enterprises, the trilogical work and the trilogical residences way of living and the trilogical analysis and trilogical um, uh, tourism. How do you say? Yeah, you say leisure. Like trilogical leisure. Yeah. So this trilogical spirit, uh, this group of people that are uh, l trying to live in this way, they, they can feel in themselves what is the, this other option of life, which is um, a total different option, option of life? You know, it's interesting, Claudia, because when I, when I came here, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sort of an artistic personality, and coming along with artistic personalities is this kind of um, idea that we really don't have to work, you know, that art, artistry just comes and there it is. And so when I was doing a lot of voiceover work when I lived in Toronto and New York City, and I had a very successful career doing that. I wasn't working. I was only doing that. And I realized that I was getting very decadent mm -hmm. because I didn't have an application, a day-to-day -day work to do. And we need this. We need this to be immersed in this culture where we have to work, we, are, we have to produce, we have to do regular, everyday, humble things. And then the other things come to the editing of books, or in your case, the writing of books, the, all the incredible work that you do with the, the, the radio and TV shows that you do, and the incredible orientation you give for all of these organizations that are linked to, to Trilogy, the Stop the Destruction of the World Association, the Kepi Motor, all of these things that you orient, the psychosomatic health clinic, all of that comes from the day-to-day -day grind of getting up in the morning and seeing clients and making phone calls and writing a chapter of a book and this is the thing that trilogical business brings, trilogical living brings. A life totally dedicated to... A meaningful yeah, life that aims the help to decrease the suffering of human beings and this is not an easy work no no it's not easy no. but it's very fulfilling yeah. and, and this is important because when people idealize trilogical residences and trilogical companies they, they may think oh it's like heaven and it's not like heaven no. because we are human beings we have yeah. pathology we have a lot of things to resolve to 
uh, fight resistance, to conscientize. We have the groups to conscientize uh, errors. Uh, among ourselves, so no. it's not an easy task. No. But it's extremely fulfilling, and this uh, feeds us with a lot of energy, with a lot. You observe, Richard, that very few people here need to take medicines, no. or they very seldom, very, very seldom, we need someone needing a doctor or something, no. and it's very, like, very superficial kind of problem because we are energized by our uh, mentality, our spirit. I also notice, and this may appeal to the, the people locked in the narcissistic phase, that people don't get old here. <laughs> people sort of... They, we get charming. Yeah, they charmant. <laughs> Old oh, people. Charming, yeah, right. yeah. People, I mean, people maintain their appearance. Like you, Richard. Yeah, like 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 you, Richard. Like many, we we keep this, which is really, really, really beautiful. So look, as you're listening, as you're uh, absorbing this energetically, healing through consciousness will return next week. Thank you so much. A great pleasure, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye bye.